where I'm, I'm basically helping entrepreneurial fathers and men to develop this no excuses mindset so that they can dominate their not just year, but every day while they're so that they can build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning and attack their mission to create this ideal lifestyle that we're talking about. That's going to give them more time, freedom for their families. Like that's what it's all about as a, as a man, as a father, that is your purpose on this freaking earth. And we're going to talk about today, how to take that purpose, how to take that meaning and that mission and develop a plan for this upcoming year. So let's jump into it and... What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. This is really part three of a three-part series on how to end your e- your year and how to set up and dominate the upcoming year. Basically, two weeks ago, we talked about that self-reflection in 22 points to review your previous year and score yourself in the previous year in 22 different categories. Last week, we talked about reviewing, reflecting, and revisiting the previous year. And today, it's all about previewing, planning, and preparing to operate to dominate in your family, your fitness, your family, your business in the upcoming year, all areas of life here on the Steve Eckert Show, which is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms, all while you create your own personal ideal freak freedom lifestyle. And there's no better way to transform and create that freak freedom lifestyle than what we're doing here today is intentional, have an intentionality in crafting your upcoming year, how you're going to operate, your themes, your words of the year, your goals of the year, your intentions of the year. And it's all based off the data and the information and the feedback you gave yourself in these previous two weeks. So if you didn't watch those previous two weeks, you really should watch those and listen to those several times and go deep and dark and take notes and, and prepare all that work because that's leading up to today where we're talking about actually designing your your dream of the year and life upcoming in, in this 2024 year that's coming up. That's what this is going to be all about. And this is what we talk about in the Freak Father Alliance. We work on this stuff on a daily basis. The Freak Father Alliance, which is a men's mentorship group coaching program where I'm, I'm basically helping entrepreneurial fathers and men to develop this no excuses mindset so that they can dominate their not just year, but every fucking day while they're so that they can build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning, and attack their mission to create this ideal lifestyle that we're talking about that's going to give them more time, freedom for their families. Like That's what it's all about as a, as a man, as a father. That is your purpose on this freaking earth. And we're going to talk about today how to take that purpose, how to take that meaning and that mission and develop a plan for this upcoming year. So let's jump into it and dive into it Right off the bat, let's get into how to design this year. So the first way to design this year is to one more kind of reflection question from the previous year because it really sets up today. It's really required. First is asking yourself, where did you fail to design your previous year? So where did you m- m- mess things up? Was it in your time block? Was it in your scheduling? Was it in your family meetings? Was it in, in, your, in your calendar? Where did you fail to design your previous year? Did you not set clear enough goals with enough intention? Where did you fail to design your year? And again, so pretty much the way this is going to work, I'm going to give you a question, a category. I want you to pause this, write down that question or category, and then just write down whatever the first couple of ideas, the first main things that come to mind on that, on each of these. So we can get the ball rolling in each of these categories. Then later tonight or this weekend or, or whenever it is that you have some deep, dark a reflection time where you can go more internal and go deeper, you'll go a lot deeper on all these, much deeper to craft and create 
this dominating year of 2024 coming up. So that's the process we're going to use here. And if you want, I'll even send you a, a copy of all the information and the questions and the data from the last week, the last three weeks, I've actually. And then this week combined together, I'll send you it. Just shoot me an email or a message on social media. And I'll get deliver it over to you right into your email inbox immediately. So let's jump into it. So what? Wh- where did you fail to design the year? And now we're going to talk about how to actually... M- make those corrections from last year where you failed to design it so we can design this year coming up already. So let's talk about designing it. All right. What is what is really the overall plan that you're working towards in this upcoming year? Just a general idea, the big picture. What is your overall plan that you're working toward? Not necessarily your goals yet. But I'll give you an example. Mine overall plan for this upcoming year that I put because I'm, I'm gonna share some of my my answers with you like I did last week is my overall plan was to get back to the basics, get back to my basic spreadsheets and checklists and my my year's theme and message that we're going to go over and my previous year's theme message. That's my basic overall thing. Just get back to the basics, the foundations, and don't just think them and write them or say them, like really dive in and live them with intentionality. And, and we're going to get into that a little further. So really just what's your overall plan that you're working towards this year? What, what's your overall strategy going to be? All right. And then let's go into the next one. Like what this this year coming up, 2024, what do you need to do more of that you're already doing? So something you're already were doing in 2023, what did you need to do more of that thing that you're doing? Whatever that is. Might be time blocking, might be meetings, might be some kind of communication or marketing or creating things, or writing emails. Maybe you're doing some and it's working. Like really, what was what was working in 2023 that you need to do even more of in this upcoming year of 2024? And then on the flip side of that, all right, what did you do in 2023 that in 2024 you need to do less of? Not do so much. Maybe you, you wasted some time on it. So what are you going to do less of in 2024 that, than, than you did last year in 2023. And listen, even though we're in December still, we haven't hit the new year. This is the time to get this shit done. So you can get a head start on the year, head start on the competition, head start on yourself, head start on your goals and your motherfucking life. So this is the time to be doing this shit. So that was what you need to do more of and less of of stuff you're actually doing. But then let's also talk about things that you're not doing. What do you need to start doing in 2024? What are things you have to start doing that you're not doing at all? And you can answer this personally, professionally, whatever comes to mind. Don't forget, right now, you're just going to put whatever comes to mind. Later on, you'll go deeper and more internal and, and figure stuff out on, on that level. So what do you need to start doing this year that you're not doing? And what do you need to start doing? Like for me, one of the things I want to start doing is I'm recording these and I put these out there, but I should also be getting some behind the scenes Instagram stories while I'm recording this. That's a hint to my cameraman right now as I threw him the other phone to get some Instagram stories right now of us recording, of our setup. What does it look like when we're recording? What does the recording studio look like for the Steve Eckert Show podcast? Think about that. What do you need to start doing this year? And literally, that just popped in my head just now as I'm saying this. So I'm getting just as much out of recording this stuff as you are. I'm, I'm, I'm learning and, and, and developing and, and working towards personal self-mastery just as much as you are on this show. Like, what do I need to start doing more of? That was the first thing getting some behind the scenes content of when we're recording these con- these these podcast episodes. I got the cameraman, my man Tyson in the back, my my producer, he he feels all special when I call him the producer, shooting more and more Instagram stories behind the scenes. Like that's what we needed to do, what I wanted to do to kind of show what it's like behind the scenes. Like you just see me staring at the camera, but you don't know behind me there's a, there a 75-inch monitor. There's two other monitors on the left. We have a light up on the ceiling. We have a specific background around us. The microphone is attached. Like, all this is going on. My notes in the notepad and mouse, like, and of course, a knife and a gun all over the place. Don't show the gun there, Mr. Producer. Guns uh, surrounded by us. So what do you need to do more of? What would you need to start doing this year? And that's something that we needed to start doing. We weren't doing any behind the scenes. And I literally just thought of that right here on the spot and gave the hint to the, to the, to the cameraman and threw him the extra phone to start getting some of these stories. So that's, and and listen, that should be a lesson for you in SOI, in speed of implementation. Like you say, I I just thought of it. What do I need to start doing this year? And literally here, while I'm recording 
this this actual recording with that's unedited, just throwing the phone and building it into the lesson and implement on it and take motherfucking action on it right away, like immediately. That's violence of action. That's speed of implementation. That's getting shit done. That's making shit happen. So what do you need to start doing this year that you weren't previously doing? And once you answer that question, you know what you got to do? Implement like a motherfucker. Start doing it like we just did. Literally, you'll see those stories Three weeks before this episode is out, you'll see the stories that we just did because they're going to be in there right now. Those stories will be immediately on there. All right, so the next question to, to craft this upcoming year of yours is what new habits do you need to implement? Whether that's health and fitness and nutrition, uh, a morning routine, a start of workday routine, uh, an end of workday routine, your, your evening, end of night routine. Like what new habits do you need to start implementing in this upcoming year that you don't previously have? Habits that you know are going to help you take shit to the next level. Habits are going to be required to take to the next level. For me, some of them were to go to a regular chiropractor, to get a regular massage because physical therapy even, things like that because we train every day. And in order for us to continue training every day for even another year, we've been doing this for, I don't even remember the last time I took a day off, years now. In order for us to continue doing that, I'll have to take even better care of myself and my health and body and bones and joints as I'm getting a little older, I'll be almost 30 years old here pretty soon. So as I'm doing that, got to take even better care of myself. That was some of the stuff, right? And so that's talking about, what we first said, what do you need to do more of that you're already doing? What do you need to do less of? What do you need to start doing? What new habits do you need to implement? Now I want to say, what hobbies, what hobbies did you wish you did more of in 2023? Maybe something you touched, you did a little bit of, but you didn't get enough of. Like for me, that was there was a little more shooting, a little more BJJ, a little more hiking. We got some of that in, but not a ton. More biking. Those are things and hobbies that I have that I did. But in 2024, the goal is to do even more of those because they are all beneficial. They're all exciting. They're all fun. They're all rewards. They all light me up. So what hobbies do you wish you did more of in 2023? And how could you put them into the mix more often for 2024? And then the next stage of that is what new hobbies do you need? Do you want to start? For me, it's a little more, not just shooting, but more actual tactical gun gun training. Also swimming. We have a big ass pool in the backyard. We go in the pool fairly often here in the winter. We don't unless we heat it up. And if you heard previous episode on money, there was a pre episode we talked about money where we heated the pool and accidentally left the pool heater on for about two and a half months straight. And it ended up being almost $15,000 in in California, uh, gas company bills over three months from just keeping that heat pool heater on. So I'll say we're a little reluctant to to put the pool heater on because we're just who knows what rates are gonna what they're gonna stick you with charge with now. But swimming, it's hard. It's freezing cold outside. It's like an ice bath when you go in the in the winter time, even here in California, especially at nighttime. But tactical gun training. Want to do? I want to start that as a hobby. Don't really do much tactical to gun training like getting an actual trainer. I mean, we do it ourselves, but actually get an actual tactical gun trainer. Also, some private jujitsu lessons. I will do together. We'll do practice here and there and, and, and have fun with it, but actually get some one-on-one private lessons because every time I do it, I go too hard, go all out, have all kinds of fucking injuries, have a hernia surgery waiting to get repaired. So it's going to require me to have some more specialized one-on-one coaching in tactical gun training, in jujitsu, and then also I want to do a little more uh, make swimming a hobby. I don't swim actually swim swim at all, so that's a new skill, and and I can swim, but want to do cr- start that as a new hobby. All right, so <coughs> yeah, I coughed on an episode again. The cameraman looks at me horrified because I coughed. Big fucking deal. So next is what is your theme? And this is a big one, so big in fact that uh, a previous episode. I, that I think it just re- is going to release this week. What is your theme going to be for 2024? What is going to be your main thing and the words to go along with that theme? Like, what is that theme going to be for you? And there's a whole episode on this, so we're not going to go into the meanings of it, but my themes for the year overall is be the one, be the one. And what does be the one mean? It means to to be here, be present, be the force. And then the word of the year really with that is intentionality. 
intentionality. Being intentional about everything. Everything has a purpose. There's an entire episode on this and on my previous year's themes that I still write down and follow every single freaking day because what's the point of doing them for a year and then not doing them anymore? Like keep the ball rolling. So intentionality was the next one. And then the subcategories, the subwords, the kind of actions that fall underneath that was Overwatch, being on Overwatch, taking care of your people. Flame Keeper, being the one that keeps the fire alive in your people, being the source of energy and and passion and fire and life in your people. And then the final kind of actions of the year were even slash yet, meaning everything can be even better. You can do even more in every area. And then throwing yet behind something, I'm not accomplished this thing yet. You want to make a million dollars a year? I'm not making a million dollars a year yet. You want the six-pack abs? I don't have a six-pack abs yet. So throw even before anything, throw yet after anything. That's my actions for the year. That's my theme. So what are your themes of the year? What are your words of the year? And then to go with those things, what is what is the meaning behind them? Why did you choose those words? What's the meaning and the reason for choosing that theme and those words? What's the personal meaning to you? So don't just choose some generic lame ass words. And I'm not going to go too deep into this. You can watch the entire, there's an entire episode on creating and crafting your theme of the year. So you can go watch that entire episode. It's a very short one. It was like 17, 18 minutes or something like that. You can go check that out. So what is your theme of the year? And that helps you finish off designing the design section of the year. Now let's talk about the dream section of the year, the dream. And in the dream section for 2024, what do you want to feel again? What do you want to feel again a little bit more in 2024? Maybe something you got away from in 2023. What what feeling, and, and for me, it was I want to feel a little more energy. I want to feel a little more rested and recovered. I want a little more quality of sleep. I want to wake up feeling even more regenerated and revived and rejuvenated and energized and on motherfucking fire. From the second I wake up on the floor, just stomp thunder into every fucking step. And I do a pretty good job of that, but I know I could feel even more of that in 2024 as we continue to just keep this streak going of not taking any days off, especially with different injuries or surgery that I have to have. So let's just backtrack. What was the theme of the year? What were the words of the year? Why did you choose those? And now what's what do you want to feel again a little bit more of or feel more of or feel again? In 2024, maybe you got away from, you started slipping away from your grasp in 2023. What is that for you? Then here's here's a, a big one. What is a bold move or a big risk you could take this upcoming year in 2020? Think big, think nasty, think scary. Think of a fear, uh, something that scares you, something uncomfortable. What's a bold, big, fucking outlandish, bold movie? You could like start thinking totally different outside the realm that you normally think of. Even if it's not something you're even going to even want to actually do just to start going to all over the place, just writing down those ideas. What's a bold fucking movie you can make this year? Maybe you want to go and move to fucking Istanbul or something. You Something crazy where you want to just live in a different country or move and live in a different state, or just quit your job and start a business from scratch and just figure it the fuck out. Like, what's a bold move? What's a big risk that you can take this year? Just make a list, a bunch of things. Maybe you're not going to do them all, but just to open your fucking mind up, just start getting creative, start thinking outside the motherfucking box, thinking outside your comfort zone, thinking outside of that average, boring, mediocre bullshit that you've been stuck in, maybe, or you started dipping into as you got complacent, maybe, especially here towards the end of 2023. Think bold, motherfucker. Think big risks. Think scary. Think fun. Think fear. Think exciting. What's a bold move you can make in this upcoming year? And then if you're going to just make 2024 fucking 10 times more successful and better and more fulfilling and more impact and more money and more happiness, what habits Well, you need to start implementing right now, like today, motherfucker, in order to to 10X the the 2024 compared to 2023. What is it that you're going to have to do and start implementing right fucking now? If you're going to 10X, be more successful, more happy, more fulfilled, more impact, more income, more motherfucking money, what habits are you going to need to start implementing right now? For me, it was even more sleep. I was getting about seven seven and a half average for 2023. You know what? To get to where I want to be 
And to keep things going the way that I know I need to be getting in the the energy levels, I'm going to need to get to that magical eight hours of sleep or more. And I'm already working on that. I'm going to need better marketing than I'm doing and and, and probably outsource some marketing and hire some marketing people. I'm going to need to do a little bit of work on the second half, a little more work the second half of the day because I get so much done the first half of the day. We go to the gym, come back, and I do some things. I'll record or whatever, but don't get much as much done work after the, like the second half of the day because I've already done so much. I'm already, I've already i done more by noon than most motherfuckers do all week or all day. So it, it's realizing I'm going to have to do a little bit more on that second end of the day, second half of the day. And same thing on weekends, same thing on traveling, same thing on events, just a little bit more work, a little more focus, a little less distractions. And the only way that's going to happen is with that even more energy and recovery and regeneration and sleep that I talked about. All right, so going on to the next thing. What is your big dream for the year? The big dream. We talked about what's a bold move you can make, but what's the actual dream for the next year? And then if you're talking about the next year, you might as well talk about the next three years, five years, the lifetime, a decade from now or a lifetime from now. What are the big dreams for the next decade? But that if you, it would just be a fucking dream if you can get them done this year. So talk about long term, but then, all right, let's fucking attack this shit now and see if we can make this shit happen in a year. Now, realistically, some things are going to take you're talking about doubling your business. That might take a year, year and a half, two years, three years. But if you put that as your dream, your long-term dream, why not try to double that shit in a year? You may not, maybe you will, but what is the big dream you have for this upcoming year slash decade? I, I like to think of that shit together. I don't know where I'm going to be in a decade. I'd be fucking dead. I need to do that shit now. I need to worry about that legacy now, the, the current times right fucking now. All right, then let's just talk about goals. And there's also an entire episode on breaking down how to set goals. So I don't want to waste the time on this. You go back and watch the episode on goals where we literally talk about all the different types of goals, the different strategies and tactics attached to each type of goal, how to create them, how to set them. So use those strategies that we talked about in setting goals to then set your top minimum of three, top three personal goals for 2024, your top three professional goals for 2024, and your top three health and fitness goals for 2024. Now, I'm putting the health and fitness separate than personal because then everyone uses that as an easy scapegoat for personal, and then they don't have to really dive deep into their personal life because they make them all health and fitness. So fuck that. Health, fitness, and nutrition has its own section. I want to hear and see your top three personal goals, your top three professional goals, and your top three health and fitness goals for the year. Also, I want to see your theme. And that's that's the, the, the framework right there, what we just went over. So I broke this up into different sections because there's a lot of deep work you need to do. You got to go deep and dark and internal. So while you're watching this again, I hope you were pausing this along the way, just writing down the first things that came to mind later tonight or on the weekend, do a deep dive. Some of these questions should have a page, a page and a half of you just free form writing the fucking answers to them so you can get to the real design and decisions and dream and goals of 2024. So I want you to share with me what you've come up with so far. Fill all these in. Send them to me on email or tag me on social media. Send me a message. I want to hear about what you came up with for your design, for your decisions, for your dream, for your goals, for your theme. I want to hear about your theme and why you chose that theme. Take the time of this all, all this. I'm telling you, this is the shit that makes a difference. This is the shit that makes you operate to dominate in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business. And this is going to help you to fucking dominate the entire year of 2023 which is the same as saying dominating your freaking life. If you need some help where I can walk you through this, let me know. Send me a message. We could talk about either one-on-one coaching, the OTD, Operate to Dominate, one-on-one coaching, or the Freak Father Alliance, the men's mentorship group coaching program where we, we literally dive into this stuff on a daily basis with daily accountability, weekly sessions, monthly live workouts together, and a full workout training program, the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula, the last workout program you'll ever need, all included in the Freak Father Alliance. So let me know if you want some help implementing this stuff. I'm giving you the framework and the formula if you want help implementing it and being held accountable for it and actually driving forward and making this shit happen on a regular basis throughout the year. Let's talk about it. There's an actual a discount for a full year paid in advance, a, a, a 12-month Paid in full for the Freak Father Alliance. Let me know if you want to know about that. You can save like over $1,000 and there's tons of bonuses when you do that year-long program. 
So let me know if you want some information about that. Send me a message. I want to hear about your goals, your dreams, and your themes, and words of the year, and why you chose them, what they mean to you personally, and then all your goals, personal, professional, health, and fitness. Send it all to me. I want to see about it. I want to know what other men are after this year. I want to be inspired by you just as much as you're fucking inspired by me. Let's do it. Let's make this shit happen. This is what it's all about. Accountability, discipline, energy, confidence, taking motherfucking action, and being your freak self. If you need any help, any questions, let me know. Reach out. I will see you next time on the Steve Eggers Show podcast. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.